This is the first video in a multi-part series designed to demonstrate the capabilities of Roland VersaWorks software. We will show most of the common settings and setups for print jobs in a common print shop. Today we're going to talk about the queue settings, the queues themselves, and how to import a file into a queue in order to set it up for print. You can see over here that I have QA and QB. Queues are like file folders and it's an area where we can store different print jobs before we are changing the settings on each one of them and getting them ready for print on the various printers that are driven from Roland VersaWorks. You can see in QA I've got a bunch of jobs here and in QB I have only have one. You can change the settings on the queue so that VersaWorks will automatically apply those settings whenever we import a file into the queue we're going to look over how to set the queue settings. If we go up to the edit column here and we'll pick QB because that's the one I have open, we can take a look and it'll open up the different properties for QB. You can see I have all the settings tabs over here, layout, quality, color adjustment, and I can change many of the settings inside each one of these. I might for instance say that I want to have in the quality of it that in QB I'm only going to import jobs that are banners. So I could set it up for the media type to automatically be selected for block out banner. Or I could set it up for solutions clear or whatever other type of material I'm printing on. This allows me to set up a queue specifically for one type or another of media material so that I can set up my jobs to go into that queue and have these settings applied. Most of the times when I'm talking to different people in the class or online, the only thing I really recommend that you set up in here is the EPS margin. You can see I've got the EPS margin set at 0 0.10. What this means, EPS is encapsulated postscript. It's a type of file that we import into VersaWorks in order to set it up to print. Sometimes, if you don't have a margin, it, when VersaWorks imports in that EPS file, the edges of the cut line, especially on a circle or an oval, might get clipped. And you would have in, this, in, in that instance where your cut line on a circle might have one side of it that doesn't quite complete. So when we print and cut that job, it doesn't complete the cut and I would have to hand cut that, which you can readily see would be a, a large pain and not very conducive for an efficient workflow. So by setting a margin, it gives a little buffer zone around the entire object when it's imported in and allows it to preserve that cut line on the edge. Uh, I've only had one person that I've talked to that had to set it higher than 0 0.10 and most people seem very satisfied with the 0 0.10 setting. Now realize all the settings and tabs and layouts and everything I talk about here are, are not necessarily recommendations of Roland Corporation but are rather what we've seen in our shop to be useful and helpful for us. So in here I'll make that margin 0 0.10 which it already is and another area that I go to is the printer controls and I like everything to say default, default media settings and we'll talk about that later when we get into the printer settings. Now some people if you don't have a large enough screen size may come up to the instance to where your bottom taskbar here is kind of covering up the OK and cancel down at the bottom. The way to get past that is to right click on your taskbar and select the properties. Once you've selected the properties, we'll drag this up so we can see it a little bit better, you can see the auto hide the taskbar is checked on this. That allows my taskbar to go into the bottom of the screen and kind of hide and it allows me to be able to get to the OK and cancel. Now this only occurs with certain screen settings so if your screen size isn't quite large enough you may have to do this. We've already done this for my computer here so I'm able to access the OK and cancel. Another thing to realize in the queue settings is that some areas you cannot change here. If I look at the clip and tile area you'll see that I can't do clipping adjustments or tiling adjustments in here but I must do it to the specific job once I've imported it into that queue and I'm adjusting the settings for it there. So once again the one spot that I recommend to everyone is the EPS margin and everything else 
would be at the discretion of the user and how they want to set it up. In our shop, we don't set a QA or QB setting for quality. I know some people who do. Uh, I have too many different types of jobs that I'm running through for that to really be efficient for us. So that is most of the Q settings and we'll hit OK on this. And then next we're going to talk about how to import a file into the queue. To import a file into the queue, we'll go over to File and Add Job to the Queue. We're going to select QB for our demonstration today. I've already got a folder that it went to because I opened up a job from there last and I can see that I've got two EPS files in here or encapsulated postscript. I can look over here and it shows all supported file formats. I may be looking for a specific file type and I have a folder that has a lot of, a lot of data in it and I want to search for just the EPS files as I know that's the type of file I'm looking for or maybe I'm looking for a TIFF file or a PDF so I can kind of narrow it down that way or if I wanted to see all just the supported file types or all files in the folder. For us we leave ours at all supported file types. I'm going to pick on the famous Dave's one here. I would simply click on it once and then hit open. You can see I can show previous versions of it also if there was a previous version in there but I'm just going to hit open for this. It imports it in. You saw right there real quickly it had kind of calculated all the parameters of that file and brought it in for us and now that file is in QB and you can see it over here we can see the the graphic itself it's in the queue itself and if I look over in QA it's not there so it's only in this file folder now remember that EPS margin would have been applied to it so there's a little bump out around the whole image and if I had set any specific uh, media types or anything like that all of those settings would be applied to it in short we've gone over the queue settings access from edit and then the queue settings talked about some of the different options that you can choose there, what you're limited to and what you're not, and we've shown how to import a job into the queue in order to prepare all the settings for processing for printing. That concludes this video tutorial. In the next video tutorial we will start looking over the settings for printing and how to adjust everything.